My parents took me to a Baptist church, and I always believed that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I always believed that God raised him from the dead. But I was not a Christian until I put my faith in what Jesus did for me. See, Jesus says, repent of your sins and believe the gospel. Uh, when you become a born-again Christian, Jesus changes your mind, your heart, your emotions, and your desire. No longer do I desire to drink anymore, smoke anymore, uh, and to sin against God. I desire now to please God. And that's because Jesus came into my heart and took my old heart out and gave me a new heart. And that is supernatural. And that's what God wants for you. God wants to change your life. God wants you to be born again. If you look in John 3, John 3, 3, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. God wants you to see his kingdom. And the Catholic Church teaches you to bow down to idols, to take rosary beads, it tell you to pray to Mary. In the word of God, there is no purgatory either. So when you die, you'll either go to heaven or you'll go to hell based on how you treated Jesus. Did you worship Jesus or did you worship Jesus' mother? Nowhere in the Bible does it say that Mary is the queen of heaven? The Bible says there's only one name. It is Jesus that God highly exalts. God exalts Jesus Christ. God wants to save you. The word of God says, if you come to him, he will no wise cast you out. Come to him, all you that are heavy laden, and he will give you rest. God wants to save you. This is good news. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. God has a book called the Book of Life. The Catholic Church teaches you cannot know for sure you're going to heaven. Yes, you can. That's the good news. I know I'm going to heaven because I have a relationship with Jesus. Jesus Christ washed away my sins. He wrote my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now I communicate with God on a daily basis. I read His Word, and that's what God wants for you. God wants you to read His Word, meditate on it, get to know God. 